When you were growing up, did anyone ever teach you how to properly manage your money? I mean, how to manage your money really wisely so it actually goes to work for you and so it grows and multiplies. Well, for most of us, that was not the case. And in this video, we're going to talk about why it's so critical to do that and how it actually helps you attract a whole lot more money more consistently and more easily. For regular tips on all things money and mindset to help you build an aligned and abundant business so you can stop worrying about money, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. In this video, I'm also going to share my top three tips to help you manage your money wisely so it really goes to work for you. And we're going to talk about how you can get even more detailed instruction on putting together a money management system that you will actually keep using. Now, for over 13 years, I actually ran a really successful finance business and I dealt with people from all walks of life and on all different levels of income. And there was one really, really important thing that I noticed, and that is that more money, more income did not change their money patterns because people who were in the habit of always spending every dollar that came in, they would do that whether they were on a five-figure income or on a multiple six-figure income. They would do that when they had lump sums of money and inheritances come in and when they didn't. And people who were in the habit of always putting some money aside, they did it regardless of what their level of income and what bonus income they had coming in. So that's a really important point that I want you to note. It's that more money doesn't change the pattern. So what you really need to work on is making sure that your pattern is a healthy one that actually supports you financially and moves you forward and helps you reach and achieve your goals. So for most of us, nobody ever showed us how to take care of our money. It's not usually taught in schools. And most of the time, our parents have no idea either. They're just winging it and making it up as they go along. And so what that means is that we don't have that confidence around money to know that we actually know what to do and we're doing the right thing. And what that does is it creates vibrational wobbles. It creates a lack of certainty and a fear and a worry vibration within you. And that is not conducive to you attracting plenty more because when you're worried that as it comes in, you don't really know what to do with it and you're beating yourself up for having done all the wrong things in the past, that actually creates a vibrational block that does not allow the money to flow. And the thing is also that we're usually passed down from our parents all these generational patterns and all these generational fears and things around money. You know, all those silly things that people say like, oh, money doesn't grow on trees. Who do I think? Who do you think I am? Rockefeller or I'm not made of money. My parents said those things to me too. And they, they program us with those sayings, with those, you know, really systemic belief systems, and they're passed down through the generations. So we see our parents struggle, we see them with their own money issues, and that is then passed down. So if we want to break the cycle and break the pattern, we need to do that consciously, we need to break out of that cycle, and start by actually educating ourselves, first of all, on how to take care of our money properly. Because once you build money confidence and you get a money management system in place that actually works for you, that you're really excited about because you know it's helping you move forward and achieve your goals, that makes you really magnetic to more money. It makes you excited about bringing money into your life because you've got this system all set up to really put it to work for you and to help it grow and multiply so that you can keep moving forward in leaps and bounds. So the key to really becoming more magnetic to money and breaking down a lot of the money blocks and the barriers areas is to get confident about managing your money, to actually sit down and do the practical work and set up that money system that really works for you. I'd love to know, did anyone actually teach you how to manage your money as you were growing up? And I'd love you to share with me in the comments below, what is the best piece of money advice that you've ever received? Okay, it's time for those top three tips to help you manage your money wisely so that you can become magnetic to more. Are you ready? Tip number one, make compound interest work for you, 
not against you. So compound interest was called the eighth wonder of the world by none other than Albert Einstein, because it is a really, really magnificent and powerful effect. So compound interest is when you have interest, earning interest, and then the interest on the interest is earning interest, and then the interest on the interest on the interest is earning interest, and so on and so on. Now, I have a term for that, and it is called making money babies, because it's like a family tree. You start out with a few dollars, and when you let that effect of compound interest build and grow, it's like the family tree sprouting and growing and expanding. So this is where your money is working for you to make more money. There are two ways to make money, people working for money and money going to work. And that's what compound interest is all about. So you want to make it work for you, not against you. When you have things like credit card debt and other debts that have interest attached to them. If you're not getting on top of that, then compound interest is working against you. You're literally making debt babies. So you need to turn the tide and get on top of that and switch all of those funds that are going into that debt system right now. Get on top of that as quickly as you can and switch that focus around to making compound interest work for you by investing in things that grow, by investing in things like shares and properties and anything that attracts compound interest and has a return on your money that you can then reinvest to get a return on the return. That effect is really, really powerful. So tip number one, start thinking about compound interest and focus on turning the tide from having it working against you to having it working for you. Tip number two, give every dollar a job to do. So what most people do is they throw all their money into one big bucket and then, you know, they pay the bills and oops, the kids need school shoes and let's get some groceries. Let's go out for dinner tonight. Oh, there's another bill to pay. And they don't know what's what. And so when it gets to the end of the month or the week, they start to look at that pot of money and think, oh, It's not going to be enough. And the problem with that is that you haven't given those dollars their individual jobs to do. You've just thrown them all in there and then just randomly picked them out, hoping that there'll be enough money to cover everything. When you give every dollar a job to do, you actually assign those jobs to different pools of money and you give them their own workspace, which means you separate them. And so you know that this is my fun money. This is where the money comes from for us to go out for dinner, for me to have a massage, for that new pair of earrings or whatever it is. And this is the money whose job it is to just pay those regular household bills. And then this is the money whose job it is to work on that compound interest equation and turn the tide from having it working against me to having it working for me. So every dollar gets a job to do and a place to do it. And that gives you that peace of mind of knowing that you're not robbing Peter to pay Paul or that at the end of the month, you're suddenly going to be left short and a bill comes in that you can't pay. So every dollar gets a job to do. Very important, that's tip number two. Okay, moving along to tip number three to help you manage your money wisely and help you become magnetic to more. And that is to always know and stick with one current financial priority. So at any stage in life, you should know what your number one financial priority is and you should put as much focus on that as possible, ideally all your focus. And this will be different for different people at different stages in life. And usually it revolves around that wealth creation pool of money where the compound interest equation is being swung from one side to the other. So for example, you might be at a stage where right now your number one financial priority is to get rid of that credit card. And I want you to focus on that and be really clear on that and know that that is what all the spare money that becomes available is for. So you're not spraying your spare money around going, oh, put a little bit here and a little bit there because that gets you nowhere fast. When you know your number one financial priority at any given point in time, 
any spare dollar that comes in goes right there. And guess what that creates? It creates focus. It creates momentum. It makes law of attraction kick in and send you even more money to put towards paying that one thing off or building that investment or wealth buffer, whichever is your priority. But it allows you to attract more money towards that focus because it gets you excited with every dollar that comes in that you can put towards that number one current financial priority, the momentum builds, the energy builds, the excitement builds, and law of attraction in the universe will keep sending you more and more money, which allows it to happen even faster. That is how you really quickly turn the tide from having compound interest working against you to having it working for you. So that is tip number three. Always have one financial priority at a time and be crystal clear on what it is. So there you have it. Those are my top three tips for managing your money wisely so you become magnetic to more. Now, don't go just yet because I want you to keep an eye out for a future video of mine where I will be sharing my five golden rules for setting up your money management system so it actually works for you and so you keep on using it. And in the meantime, be sure to jump on my free masterclass. The link is below. And in that masterclass, I show you how to completely transform your relationship with money so that you become magnetic to more and so you can stop worrying about money already. Embracing your unlimited potential is all up to you. And it starts by taking confident control of your money. That's a huge step on that journey. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and feel welcome to share it with your friends. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.